Tetris is a game that's been around since the 1980s, but it's having a bit of a resurgence at the moment thanks to the Apple TV adaptation of the true story of the guy who created the game and the race that ensued to license and patent the game during the Cold War. I actually just played it again for the first time in a long time, which inspired me to make this video. So I'll show you how to play on desktop and mobile, and it's pretty simple, so this should be a pretty short video. If you're new here, I'm Claudia. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you like this video and subscribe to my channel. So starting with the desktop, all you have to do is go to Tetris.com and click play now. So here are the instructions on how to maneuver the pieces with the mouse, but I think it's actually easier on a keyboard. So to move the pieces left and right, just use the left and right keys. And then to rotate the pieces around, just tap the up arrow. And on the bottom, you'll be able to see what's called the ghost piece and where it's going to land and how it'll fit in with other pieces. They also show you the next three pieces that will be coming up to help you make a decision on where you want the piece to land. Once you decide where you want it to go, you can hold down the down arrow to put it in its place more quickly, or you can click the space bar to have it quick drop. As you advance to further levels, they'll start to come down faster and faster, so it does get harder. You can also make it harder by clicking options and removing the ghost piece option. The goal of the game is to create a complete horizontal line without any gaps, and when a complete line is formed, it disappears and you earn points. If you clear one line, it's 100 points, two lines is 300 points, three lines is 500 points, and a Tetris clear is clearing four lines in a row, which you can only do with this straight Tetris piece. Now let's talk about some strategies that you can use to play. So while the piece is falling, if you want to hold onto the piece or not use it for that round, you can click the C key and it'll move into the hold queue. You can only do that once per piece though, and you can also rotate a piece once it reaches the rest of the board. Right before it's locked in, you can kind of slide them into place quickly if you need to. In order to release a piece from the holding queue, just put another one in there by clicking C and it will release the one that you've been holding. So you just keep going until the pieces go all the way to the top and you can't clear them anymore. Now let's move on to mobile. There is an app that you can download, but I actually did not like the app experience at all. I was happier just going on Tetris.com on a browser and playing it that way. So on the app, you don't get the holding queue and you don't get to see the next three pieces. So if you don't care about that, then the app would be fine. But if you do, just use a browser. So on mobile, you just tap the screen to rotate the piece and to move it left and right, just hold and drag left and right. To quick drop, just swipe down on the board. And to put a piece in the holding queue, just tap the hold box and it'll go over there. Same thing if you want to release the piece that's in the hold box, just tap the hold box and new piece will go in there and release the one that you've been saving. It's a really easy game and that's the beauty of it and why it's been a classic for decades now. If you're a Tetris player, drop your high score in the comments. Mine is 70,000. And also let me know what game you want me to talk about next. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.